I'm here with Dr. Romano, and we're going to work an organic chemistry mechanism. Come on in. I'd like to show you a quick and easy problem. When you first look at this problem, it sort of looks really tricky. That we're going from a conjugated spiroketone, and we're going to add acid, and we're going to form this benzene ring with an OH, and we make it into a phenol. Now, we want to make sure for the data we understand what a phenol is. A phenol means that you have a benzene ring and there's an alcohol group on it. Well, obviously, there had to be some type of rearrangement. So if I just number this as one, two, three, four, and you can see one, two, three, four. So as you can see, it looks to me that this carbon number four has somehow migrated over to this position on the benzene ring. Well, what would be my first move? Now, for the DAT exam, you're not required to come up with mechanisms, but you do need to understand how arrows move. So I think this problem will just give you a good idea and a good feel for problems. Notice in the very first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up an H, meaning I'm going to protonate the carbonyl group. Now, once I protonate the carbonyl group, as you can see, I'm going to be able to draw some resonance structures. Now, one of the little tricks that I teach my students in advanced organic chemistry is always look at the resonance forms because one of those resonance forms may be the correct path that you need to be able to form the final product. As you can see, if you move this to here, that gives you this carbocation. And then if this bond moves over, this gives you this carbocation. Now, I think you can see of all these carbocations, you have your opportunity right here that there's my carbon number four, and now I can do a ring expansion. I want to get rid of this spiral compound. It's putting some strain on the molecule. And by moving it over, so if you, you took this bond and you move that over, so now it looks like this. There was my position number four. Let me mark it. And as you can see, this carbon here, which is here now as the positive charge, and I think you can see my next step, I'm ready for the kill. A water molecule can come in. There was an H attached to that carbon with the plus charge. I put it in over here. You take off the H and then you move the bond in and you got the correct product. So this was a fast problem, but it did look a little intimidating because of the spiral. But the minute I saw that spiral, I knew we had to break that ring, but I needed an opportunity and acid gave me the opportunity and notice we we regenerated back the acid so the acid would be called a catalyst all right that does it that helps you on a nice mechanism for today good day to you